Hello and welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Dave Carger. Tonight we've got a lineup of films starring the dynamic duo of Glenn Ford and Rita Hayworth. Ford and Hayworth were two of Hollywood's biggest stars in the 1940s and 50s, and off screen they were also close friends. Between 1940 and 1965, they made five pictures together, and up first tonight is the most iconic of them all. From Columbia in 1946, it's Gilda. Ford plays a down on his luck gambler who's rescued one night by a corrupt casino owner. He soon finds himself working for the man as his most trusted confidant. But their friendship is jeopardized when the boss goes away on a trip and returns with a beautiful new wife, played by Rita Hayworth, who happens to be the one woman Ford has been trying hard to forget. Gilda was not the first movie that Glenn Ford and Rita Hayworth made together. They were first teamed up as co-stars in the 1940 film The Lady in Question, which we'll get to see here on TCM later tonight. But in that earlier movie, their chemistry on screen didn't make anybody sit up and take notice. In 1946, when they teamed up again to make Gilda, Ford returned to the screen a more mature performer, having spent two years serving in World War II, and Rita Hayworth had become one of Hollywood's most glamorous pinup stars. Their performances in this film made them a sensationally popular team, and the movie launched both actors to new heights of stardom, paving the way for them to take on more interesting and complex dramatic roles. They would go on to be paired together again in three more films over the next two decades. From 1946, also with George McCready and directed by Charles Vidor, here is Gilda. Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me tonight on TCM as we continue our lineup of films starring Glenn Ford and Rita Hayworth. In 1946, Ford and Hayworth became a popular romantic team on screen thanks to their steamy performances in the dark drama Gilda. That was their second film together, and up next is their fourth collaboration, which was specifically made in the hope of replicating the success of Gilda. From 1952, it's Affair in Trinidad. Hayworth plays a nightclub singer who learns that her husband has died under mysterious circumstances. With the help of his brother, played by Ford, she investigates the death and soon finds herself caught up in a web of political intrigue and danger. Affair in Trinidad was based on a story written by Virginia Van Upp, who was the producer on Gilda six years earlier, and the film deliberately copied many of the ingredients that made Gilda a hit. In addition to reuniting Ford and Hayworth, it tells a story of crime, intrigue, and tortured romance set against an exotic tropical backdrop. Affair in Trinidad also marked Rita Hayworth's return to the big screen after a four-year absence when she left Hollywood to marry her third husband, Prince Ali Khan. That marriage ended in divorce, and Hayworth was forced to resume her career, so she returned to Hollywood to star opposite her good friend Glenn Ford in this film. Ads for the movie heralded her return with phrases like, she's back with that man from Gilda, and included images that were reminiscent of their violent relationship in Gilda, with Ford angrily slapping her across the face. As disturbing as the ads were, they worked, and audiences flocked to the theaters to see the film. From Columbia Pictures in 1952, here is Affair in Trinidad. Welcome back to TCM, I'm Dave Carger. Up next, Glenn Ford and Rita Hayworth return in the third film they made together, a costume drama released two years after they scored a smash hit co-starring in Gilda. From 1948, it's The Loves of Carmen. Based on the Prosper Merrimi story Carmen, which also inspired the famous opera, the movie stars Hayworth as the title character, a seductive gypsy who learns from a fortune teller that her fate is to die at the hands of her great love. Glenn Ford co-stars as the handsome military officer Don Jose, who's assigned to arrest Carmen, but instead winds up falling in love with her. Throughout the 1940s, Glenn Ford established himself as a versatile hero in dark urban dramas, light romantic comedies, and classic westerns, but the loves of Carmen required him to play an entirely different type, a Spanish soldier in a lavish period drama. The role made him uncomfortable, and he tried to get out of the project, but Rita Hayworth insisted that he give it a shot. Sensing that she needed a friend on the production with her, Ford finally agreed to make the film once again with director Charles Vidor. Vidor had directed them in their first two films together, The Lady in Question and Gilda, but this would be the last project the three would work on together. In 1946, the year they made Gilda, Vidor sued Columbia to get out of his contract because of ongoing conflicts with studio head Harry Cohn. At the trial, Vidor argued that Cohn had abused him by using foul language. Harry Cohn countered with witnesses to testify that Vidor was hot-tempered and nasty to the people he worked with, and one of those witnesses was Glenn Ford. In the end, Vidor was ordered back to work at Columbia, but things were certainly tense when he teamed up with Glenn Ford one more time to make the film that you're about to see. 
from 1948. Here is The Loves of Carmen.